often think of data analysis as being objective. And in many cases, those presenting their analyses would like us to think of it that way too. But no matter how much we hope for it, data analysis is not objective. When we model data, we decide what factors are important to us. This is the subjective part. Acknowledging this from the get-go allows us to use it as a helpful tool in promoting equity and fairness rather than being steamrolled by it. Even if you're halfway through a data project and your data is already collected, it is not too late to use modeling to add an equity lens and get the answers that matter most to all of your project's stakeholders. So how do we do it? Let's look at a project in which the goal is to supply women in a rural setting with better training in agricultural methods, specifically managing dairy cows. Here we modeled the control group and the treatment group with a basic before and after, looking to see which group did better. We found that productivity increased for women in the program by 66%. Unfortunately, this is not as informative as you might think. This model doesn't tell us enough. It doesn't tell us why anything actually increased. It doesn't tell us how anything increased. This model is like looking through a lens that isn't focused properly. Let's try and add more layers to get a clearer picture. If we want to measure productivity, not just production, we need to think about time. The overall production went up, but what if that's because the workers spent more time working? Our project added best practices and additional steps that the participants had to do, so they spent more time overall tending the cows. If we adjust for the difference in time spent within our model, we can get a clearer picture. Productivity still goes up after accounting for time spent, but not as sharply, an increase of 33%. This model also reveals that women are spending a lot more time on the job than they did before using the traditional techniques. Is that okay? Who gets to decide? Their husbands? The researchers? Here is a clear equity issue that shows that we still need another layer in the model to get more clarity. We need to somehow establish what kind of increase in productivity the women feel is worth, what kind of increase in labor time. Often the most equitable way to answer a question like this is to ask the people most affected by it. We ask the women farmers how much more time working would be worth how much of an increase in productivity. The general consensus was that an hour more per day for a 30% boost in productivity was livable and worthwhile. From this, we created a new variable that controlled for whether or not a woman increased her work time by more than an hour. Not only is this a step towards equity, but it is also a much better measurement of what the project is trying to accomplish which is seeing if their best practices and techniques increase productivity, not just whether spending more time working increased productivity, which is a pretty obvious answer already. That brought us to this final model. Here we find productivity increased for women in the program by 47%. Now that we don't have to filter out all the additional time spent, only time more than an extra hour, our productivity increase looks even better than the 33% from the previous model. Not only did the results get better, but our clarity around what the results mean got much better. This is how the layers of lenses in your model can help. We don't have to control for all productivity from extra time because we have set an equitable community created benchmark for it. In this model, we recognize that productivity increases aren't the only metric that matters. We can take into consideration whether a woman is spending an acceptable amount of time on a new process to increase productivity. Our data analysis is more equitable. This is probably much closer to answering the actual question of, did our project work, rather than the deceptively broad, did productivity increase? We did it with the original data just by thinking about potential equity issues while building our model.